Are my judges ready? Interior design can affect you in many ways. Good morning. Oh, good evening. My name is Elizabeth King. Today we're talking about how interior design can affect your life and many other I'm a believer that color affects people's moods. That's Lily Palmer. Color defines you by everything that's uh, everything that's around you, and it could be on your walls, your clothes. Everything deals with color. So everything around you can change your mood and how you feel. How color affects people. Um, it can affect your emotions and your mood. Some colors that can affect it is red, blue, yellow, pink, and green. And yellow is more optimistic and youthful. And red gives you energy and increases your heart rate. Blue creates trust. And it's like a trust and security. Color and green is associated with wealth, money, and orange is used to grab your attention often. Pink is a more of a feminine color and a romantic. Purple is used to soothe and calm you, and black is just a powerful color. Interest. Um, the reason why I was interested in design was because me and my mother always watched these kind of shows and we always thought it was, would be fun to um, do it ourselves, but we never thought we would actually do it until I did my senior project. Uh, different types of styles. There are many different types of styles. Uh, some of the ones I'll talk about is con um, contemporary, which it usually uses a lot of natural elements, bold colors, and focuses on lines, shape, and the form of all the furniture and stuff. Country is raw materials, that's what we see around here most of the time. And modern is a lot of clean lines and is very sleek and doesn't have a lot of clutter. And traditional is kind of a mixture of modern, modern and country. In the 1870s, they used a lot of blue lights to cure emotional and physical conditions. My product, I read on my bedroom, I made a headboard, read on my closets, done the trim, uh, put new decor, and I painted all my furniture and walls. Uh, this is my room before. I don't have a headboard, but I made one after. This is my closets. I have two of them, but um, I just have the one picture because they're exactly the same. This is my product. The, we made the headboard here. My mom and my dad helped me. My mentor wasn't a part of that one, but because that was the last minute thing that I wanted to add. And this is my two closets. I just took these pictures this morning, so. My stretches. Um, I'm very bad at time management and procrastination. Um, and finding time with my mentor, my mentor, Carolyn Stevens. Um, she travels with her husband a lot, and she owns her own business, so it's hard to find time that she could be at my house with me. And tools, me and my dad, my dad helped me with them. I've always seen him work on tools, but I've never actually used them by myself, and he made me do that. And the money, um, I didn't think my project was going to cost as much as it did, but it cost a lot more than plan and knowledge about the subject. Um, I just watched the shows and I thought it was going to be a lot easier than it was, but they don't show how much work goes into it on the shows, and I figured that out. My cost, it cost me about $1,000 to $1,500 to do it, and my dad was very shocked when he saw that. He was not very happy with me, but I didn't do it anyway. In conclusion, interior design can affect you in many ways, in many ways that you don't even know. Do you have any questions? What was the hardest part of it? My closet. We couldn't figure out how to put the shelves in there. We had to put all the material at the bottom and just lift it up as we went. You feel more organized with your yes with your closet arrangements. Very much. 
How do you decide what to design to use for your photography? Um, I've always looked at like pictures on Facebook and Instagram and those kind of like the very clean and sleek style always caught my eye. What's the favorite thing you did to your favorite part of the review? My closets. Because I can store more stuff easily. Did you pick a color for your room that you feel is more calming or peaceful? Yeah, gray is just a neutral color and doesn't really mess with your emotions very much. Do you think you might do that for other people if they were interested? And I don't think so. No. It's <laughs> <laughs> <was> just stressful. <laughs> Expensive? Yeah. yeah. What was the most expensive part of it? Uh, the trim. What did you make your headboard out of? Good. I don't know the car. <laughs> did you just build it? Yeah, just made the whole thing. That's great. We were going to put fabric in it, but my mom thought it was too much. So did they put some limits on what they'd let you do? Not really. They just let me do all more good parents. <laughs> <laughs> Trust your cats. Mm -hmm. She thought it was way too much white, but I liked it. Any other questions? <laughs>